The root of sin is, how can I worship me? How can I worship me? The root of sin is not simply desires, it's who you worship. Who you worship. The Bible is clear that, that we worship God through loving Him, that means we have an affection for Him, and obeying His command and law. That's how we worship God, by loving Him and obeying Him. Through, through loving Him, we say, you, we, we have affection for you, our hearts are united to you, we love you, we agree with you, and then we obey you. Jesus says, if you love me, you'll do what? Keep my commands. So if God who loves us and we love him and he says, hey, here's the rule and here's the reign, here's how you live and here's, this is for your good, your flourishing, for your thriving, because he's a good, good father who loves his kids and wants to provide, when we worship him, we go, we agree with you. And sometimes it means that we agree with you and I, we struggle to see it as good. Because, right, Eve, that was her struggle. Why can't I eat from this tree? It looks good. Right? We live in a world that says, man, if it feels good, it should be good. Who are you hurting? Imagine Eve asking that, who am I going to hurt? It's just a piece of fruit. It's just a piece of fruit. Little did she know she would ruin it for everybody. All of us, even today, were like, Eve, don't eat it. But like, you need to know now, when you're going to uh, tempted to rebel against God, you should hear your own voice going, hey, don't eat it. Don't rebel. 